Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of a Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with T and T Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the stick. Dude, if you knew how big my stick was, I mean, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> we're playing that Madden 21. Yeah, we're using the football team. Oh, we're the football team. I was actually on uh, the, the uh, Lids website looking for a Washington football team hat. Does it just have a W? I couldn't find one that was suitable. You know how I like my hats. Yeah, dude, they're, I'm sure they're trash. They probably make it trash on purpose. <clears throat> no, I mean, some of them were looking nice. It just it kind of looked like that guy's hat. Kind of bright yellow with like a big burgundy W on the front. I actually saw the hat that that guy's wearing. I saw that hat. Oh, I'm sure that's the hat. They wear official merchandise, yeah. But, but, you know, I don't want my... I don't want a good old boy hat. I don't want a... <laughs> a TNT dot in my hat. <laughs> yeah. My, my, it's got to be urban. I got to keep the sticker on for a couple of weeks, you know? <laughs> I feel you. Um, yeah, dude, I would like to get some football team merchandise myself. I would, too. I just don't want to pay $38 for a shirt for one. And a hat I would think about buying, maybe. Has there been any update on that? Or have they decided they're going to stick with this name or not? I have not heard anything else about that. I heard that it has got... I think I read something that they were surprised at how positive a reception it's gotten so far. Which is a good sign because I hope they keep it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 100%. And they should be surprised. But, you know, once again, it's like, oh, well, imagine that. You change your name from something that isn't a racial epitaph. And people reward you for it. That's how it works. Right. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize this offended you. Now we have to make new stuff. Yeah. 100%. That's not offensive. Wow, go figure. It, I mean, and it's it's been the case in point for centuries, man. Think about, like, uh, when the bullets became the Wolverine, the Wizards. When the Calves changed their colors, because they've changed their colors, like, three times. And like, yeah, because they used to be that, that weird blue and orange and white. And then they became champagne and burgundy and white. Yeah, and now we're wine and gold. Yeah, I guess it's wine. They call, Wait, it, no, we're, they call it wine and gold. It's burgundy. There was something gold. between that, though, wasn't there? Because I think we had like similar to like these colors for a little while, right? No? Yeah, I think it was. I don't know, dude. It, it was one, It was like potato potato. It was like, oh, yeah, now we're wine and gold, dude. We used to be yellow and burgundy, and now we're wine and gold. I remember they had one, and then LeBron joined the team, and then they changed it again. I just remember that much. Yeah, they should I remember they had, like, the old school Brad Doherty, Mark Price colors, and then they had another one. Yes. Oh, it was the one that was, like, it was the one that said calves, and it had, like, the, uh, the hoop, and it looked like the ball was, like, breaking through the hoop, but it was... That was still where Mark Price was there. Was that? Yeah. Yep. Okay, well, maybe not. Yeah, it was. Uh, maybe That not. was that, yeah, that, like, it just... Ugly orange and ugly blue and I white. like that orange and blue. <laughs> I actually had a car in GTA that I colored that orange Aww, and that blue. And it was like my favorite car. Cavs colors. Look at you repping, dude. I always rep the Cleveland teams, man. Ugly colors. Are you going to tell me that brown, brown and orange, dude? Yeah. Oh. Ugh, come on, dude. But yeah, I'll rep it. Oh, I'll take the first down. I don't have anything brown and orange, but, you know. And that's the problem. It's it hard to rep Cleveland Brown stuff because, like, I don't own any brown and orange clothes. Like, yeah. and I have to have specific things to, I'm not going to do it, dude. Yeah. Like, I'm not mad at the fact that they're, like, you know, tradition and whatever. But could they change the colors, please? Can we, can you're like, I would love to rep Cleveland, but I ain't, I don't have any brown and orange, and it doesn't Ooh, match my style. Could you imagine if Cleveland had, like, good colors? Like, pink and gray? That would be great, dude. Call them the Cleveland Browns, the colors are pink and gray? Hell, why not? I would love this based on a person, not a color. Honestly, pink and brown, look, they complement each other. Pink and gray? Pink and brown complement each other pretty well. I'm just saying, like, if you're just looking for something that goes with brown, there's other things other than orange. You know? Like, if you want to keep the brown, I get it. We're the browns. Good. Keep the browns. Toss some yellow in there. Brown and yellow look good together. Just don't give me that. I'm black, all right? 
I know these things. That's too close to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Brown and yellow? In black and yellow. You can't have yellow, dude. There's like a billion colors. You're going to copy your rival's colors? It's not copying your rival's colors, Jonas. It's copying. It is not brown well, we and yellow. That is totally ish different it's not and yellow. yellow. It's gold. No, dude. We can't do that. Brown dude. and gold, dude. <laughs> be great. That'd be fire. <laughs> brown and red, Jonas. What does that make you think of? <laughs> Bloody stool. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Tootsie Pop. <laughs> I hate Tootsie Pops, Jonas. I don't. You know what, Jonas? F friend Tootsie Rolls. Friend them right in their friendly face, Jonas. I friendly, you know, friendly hate When I was a Pops. kid, I really liked Tootsie Rolls. And, w- and when I get when I'm older, I'm like, why did, I'm why did, why am I gonna eat that now? <laughs> when I decided to be older, when I decided that I was gonna get older. Oh um, uh, yeah, Tootsie Pops friendly friend, friendly suck, dude. Yeah, dude, I don't really care for them. They either. suck, man. Tootsie Pops suck. Freaking uh, the, the, uh the, the Jolly Ranchers suck. Wait, don't hit, no don't, hit, don't hit on Jolly Ranchers, dude. Jolly Ranchers suck. I'm a big fan of hard candy. What? I'm a big fan of hard candy. Yeah, you're a big fan of other hard things, too. Tests. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for a difficult test. <laughs> you're a sucker for a, a hard test. Hard in all senses of the word. Challenging, difficult, firm. I'm just saying, like, uh, Jolly Ranchers suck, you know. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. You might as well just, like, take some fruit juice and, like... It's like it's like uh, sucking on a flavor bead, dude. I don't want to suck on your fucking freaking flavor bead, dude. Yeah, dude, they don't want to suck on you either. Nah, man. I don't, wanna, I don't want constant stream of high fructose corn syrup and sugar just sucking on that dude i want flavor that actually is all it is i i could i know that's why i have a problem with it yeah it's just because literally it's, corn syrup sugar and water it's because it's freaking it's it's fake dude it's not even like real it's like it's i'm trying to think of like the worst restaurant that i could possibly think of what's what's the worst restaurant jonas uh ponderosa oof Oof. Somebody in Ashton Beals going to fight me or something. And they'll be like, listen here, buddy. They got a great steak and buffet on Thursdays. They got the best sirloin in town. It's the uh, Long John Silvers Ooh. <laughs> of candy. Ooh. It's like everything is just brown and, oh. <laughs> or tan, I should everything say. Everything tastes like fish. Every- everything. <laughs> fish, 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 chicken, fish, puppies, fish fries. <laughs> everything is fish flavored, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they actually tore that log down. Silver They're stuff. building something else there. Yeah, yeah dude. Um, I drove. Is, I drove by that Burger King too, man. It's like, I yeah. Don't, yeah man. There's another Burger King. I mean, it's I almost just, as equally far. I'm not going. I don't want to go to Burger King. That's not you what I was. You want to go to Burger King? That's not what I was getting. I was getting at the fact that like, there's like the dumpster was like overturned and the place got all ramshackled. You could tell somebody tried to break in. Oh yeah, dude. Some homeless dudes are like, well, there's some brass in here. Yeah. Um. What is like, what is the worst fast food joint, dude? I, and the thing is, is that I say I say Long John Silver's, but I actually used to enjoy Long John Silver's. What was the other Long John Silver's? There was another one. Arthur's Treachers. Oh, yeah, Arthur's Treachers. I was like, do you mean they serve fish? or? <laughs> it was the other one. Yeah, dude. They weren't as good. Their hush puppies were trash. Uh, I used to enjoy Arthur's Treachers. I don't oh, know if they still what? have those around, what? though. What fast food joint is just trash, dude? You know what? I'm going to throw a hot take out there. The older I get, the less fried chicken restaurants are good at all to me. They just taste like grease. Like Popeye's, KFC, any of that? KFC has really fallen off. Popeye, like... KFC is definitely falling off. I went to Popeye's like a week ago, and I ate like... I got like a three-piece, a couple extra biscuits, and something else. I threw away some of it. I didn't even finish it. 
Did you uh, have you tried the the chicken sandwich that, that was all is the so good? I got one of them too. I was like, I see why Mother <laughs> Heifers were fighting over this, dude. It was really? good. I was like, damn, I got the spicy one yeah, too. Yeah, that's the one you get, dude. That's I was the one I ate you that get. first. Maybe that's why I threw the chicken away. I was just like, Pfft. but you know, actually, what's funny is I used to love Popeyes when I lived in Ohio, and it's funny because. There's, there's a Popeye's literally like a, not even a mile from our house. And I've eaten there. When I first moved to Texas, I ate there and I was like, I got to remember that this Popeye's isn't very good. I shouldn't go there anymore. And it <laughs> took me like two years to go back and I was like, same thing. I go, I have to remember that this Popeye's is trash and I never go here again. And then just the other day when I went, I was like, I need to really listen to myself because this Popeye's is trash. Like, I don't know if it's that Popeye's or what. I mean, if, it just depends on what you get, man. I feel like, yeah, fried food is basically, like, in the dumpster anymore. Yeah. KFC is really falling off. Popeye's is really falling off. I never really liked Popeye's chicken, though. I would just go get their biscuits and the uh, red Even their biscuits are... fell off. They were kind of dry and stuff. Like, oh, they weren't... This one ain't doing it right. Yeah, I think it's just jank, dude. That one in Cleveland, they used to put their foot in that biscuit batter, Jonas. Well, anything a little with toe jam and it's good. No, John, that's a, it's a idiom. It's a it means something else. Yeah. Oh. Metaphor. It's a metaphor for. No, it's a elbow yeah. grease. A little bit of love. <laughs> seed. They put some seed in it. No. <laughs> oh. It just means that they took some they, TLC. They, uh, yeah. To a certain extent, sure, sure. But yes, they put their foot in that biscuit batter. I remember I used to go from PA and drive from Pennsylvania back to Cleveland because the nearest Popeye's chicken was in Cleveland from PA. Um, and I would go there and I would get like 24 biscuits and I'd bring them some bees home. And eat them for a week. Heck yeah, I'd give, give them to my roommate at the time, man. We used to like, you have to put them in the microwave with a glass of water to keep them moist. Yeah, yep. <laughs> to keep them moist. Yep. But they were so good. Yeah, dude, I was just even disappointed by the biscuits, for sure. Yeah, but. Because really, are... the only reason I went there is because I wanted the biscuits. Yeah. <laughs> I was craving some biscuits, dude. I'm not mad at you. And the funny thing is, I'm not even that big of a fan of biscuits, but some restaurants have really good biscuits. Uh, best biscuits in the world goes to Red Lobster. Come up and get your award. Uh, yes. Yep, yep. And those aren't are those even biscuits? Oh, they're called Cheddar Bay biscuits, they're, my man. They're crack, dude. You can buy the mix for yeah, it. Yeah, it's not as good at home, but it's, it's no, 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 no. It is excellent at home. It, it's not as good though. It is just as good. You're a liar. If you do it right, listen. Okay, a story, Jonas. First time I ever saw the Cheddar Bay Biscuits in the store. I was like, yo, I'm getting these. I got them. I was with a girl at the time. I was like, I'm going to make these for dinner. I looked at the box, and this was me. I stayed in the kitchen with the biscuits while they were cooking. When the thing said, put them in there for 30 minutes at this at this degree heat, I put them in there for 30 minutes at that degree heat, took them out. We ate them that night. Everybody was like, oh, my God, these are the best. Bis the biscuits didn't make them. They didn't even make it. There was no leftovers. There was leftover food, but there was no leftover biscuits. Right. Okay. I remember that same girl that I was with decided that she wanted to make those biscuits for Thanksgiving for the family. Yeah. Not just the the media family of me. Like her. she wanted to present them to the entire oh, yeah. bloodline. She had big, big plans, but she didn't follow the recipe to the T. You know, if I those, mean, they're on the box for a reason. <laughs> but it's weird with these biscuits. It's like if you deviate even like 30, 45 seconds, it can F up the entire I recipe. Agree. thousand percent. She burned the biscuits, Jonas. She There's burned. nothing worse than a burnt biscuit. She burnt the biscuits. Burnt the biscuits, broad started crying. I was just like, yo, I'm sorry, your, your biscuits. <laughs> you know what's you know what's funny is this this kind of shows how much of an a-hole I am, but one time uh I was with a uh, partner and uh I was on my way home from work and they were making dinner and uh they were like, Yeah, I made XYZ, you know, and I was gonna have biscuits and uh 
and they were like, but I burned them. So I just like, I literally said, I just said, I was like, well, why didn't you pull them out when the timer went off? Because I knew damn well she never used the timer. <laughs> she, <laughs> she paused for like 10 seconds and she was like, shut up. <laughs> I was like, why didn't you just pull them out when the timer went off? Because I knew damn well she burned because she just got that timer. I don't understand it. Man. All I wanted was a biscuit. <laughs> I don't understand it. The worst part is that she ruined a perfectly good batch of Cheddar Bay biscuits. Right, man. dude. Who cares about disappointing the family? I wanted some Cheddar Bay. I wanted dude. some biscuits. Yeah, they're good, too. You fucked my biscuits. I have, uh, I have made them at home before. and You really didn't like them as much. No, no. I mean, they're gr they were good. Um, It's just that, like, I mean, that's like eating White Castle burgers at home and being like they're the same. Oh, no, dude. I feel like you didn't make the biscuits right. I mean, I've made them numerous times. I feel like you ain't make them you right. You can't match the actual. It's like it's if nah, a little Redenbacher brother. was making us popcorn in the kitchen. Nah, it ain't going to taste like brother. if I brought it home. All right, my man. Look, we're going to. <laughs> we are going to make Cheddar Bay biscuits. And then we are going to go to Red Lobster. Yeah, in the pandemic. And we're going to get <laughs> some Cheddar And we're going to do a double blind taste test, dude. You Boom. you Only mix way. them together. Only way. And then I will and then and then I will have to guess which one is homemade and which one is Only red lobster. Way. I, I don't get know. Them all correct. You have to I'll vomit them back up and you have to eat them. All I know is that the, the Cheddar Bay biscuits I made were freaking amazing and I was like, this is exactly Yeah, they're good, dude. And then uh I actually recently recommended them to somebody else and I told them, I was like, look, you have to to follow the recipe. All in all, how many times have you made those Cheddar Bay biscuits? Oh my god. Uh, I would say over five. Maybe. Really? That yeah. many times? Yeah, I've made oh, okay. them quite a few times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I, th I thought you were going to pull me out with a one. No, no, no. Like, well, I, I like them. Even, even though I don't think they're quite as good as the restaurant, I still think they're great. I no. would still eat a whole effing box of them and not think twice. <laughs> right? I just don't think they're as good as they are in the restaurant. Hey, yo, kids, if you're at home and you think, like, these dudes are nuts, then tell your mom, tell your dad, hide your kids, hide your wife, to get you some Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> when you go to them and say, Dad, I really want some Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits, but I want you to make them at home for me. And then just make sure they follow the recipe. And if they tell you that that doesn't exist, they're lying. Exactly. Because there is. And then Google guess, it. Show them a picture of the box. And then guess what? If the bottom of those biscuits are a little browner than they would usually be, they effed up. All right? Yeah, if you can just keep it real. If you can tap it on the table and you hear a noise and the biscuit doesn't mm. break apart, they're too, they're too cooked. Mm. Those biscuits are supposed to break apart, dude. You're not even supposed to be able to lift them off the plate. You have to eat it with a spoon. <laughs> That's not how... The restaurant makes them. I know because they're doing, TNT makes them. They're though. doing it wrong. Do you undercook them? I don't undercook. Them. I don't. Like, they're like they're they're still liquid. <laughs> just put them in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, you're just like I warmed it up for ten minutes. <laughs> what you didn't want cheese and dough? <laughs> it's good dough. It's cheese dough soup, motherfucker. Cheese dough soup. Mm -mm -mm. Count the GD times I've eaten that. You don't want your cheese dough soup. Sometimes I just take flour, water, and cheddar and just mix it together, dude. <laughs> just shred some cheddar. Yeah, dude. It. Just put a little bit of garlic in there, though. You know, exactly hey, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, the garlic butter spread. Put yeah, that in dude. the microwave, dude. Get a nice and warm cheese dough soup. Oh, ain't mm. nothing like it. Mm. Ain't nothing like it. All right, well. There you go. That's is it. Is this game over or did it just... I mean, yes. Oh, it is. Okay. Jonas, what are you that doing? is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've already done that, Twitch. TNT Dynamite on Twitch. That's at TNT D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. Come hang out with your boy. For Jonas, we'll catch you on the next one. We are out.